Alright, my new camera has arrived. I've only just got up, so this is why my voice is like this. Just need to clear my throat. <coughs> Alright then, a new camera has arrived and I don't think there's any need to blur out the date because the camera I'm using to film this at the moment, well, it's not going to pick that up, so yeah. Leave. This is the new camera anyway. Packaging is a bit smaller than I thought. <clears throat> I'll take that off as well. I'm just going to really quickly unbox this because, yeah. You know. Okay, so we've got manual, stuff, more stuff, even more stuff, charger, and camera. Okay, there we are. It's a little bit smaller than what I thought it would be. So I've got USB lead, audio lead by the looks of things. Tiny battery, and there's a charger. Okay, so, just gonna put the battery in, give this a bit of a charge, and we'll try it out. Right, we're charged. I'm just gonna pop in a memory card and turn this on. Let's see what it's like. Of course, it would help if I put it in the right way round. Okay, well, I've just gone and got a new memory card. Uh, unfortunately, in this dead town, it's hard to get almost anything like that, so... A class 4 was the highest I could find, so... I've gone and set the time and date on this thing. So we'll just turn on again. Okay. And I think we're ready to start recording. I will not point the camera over there. I'm going to point the camera at this and start recording. So the very next thing you're going to see is footage from this camera. And we are now recording, hopefully. So this is the camera that was seeing it all before. That I've just got hooked up to my upside down tripod, so yes, I'm going to have to flip the video in post-processing, but we don't need this one on anymore. This can retire as my backup camera, I mean, this one can retire as my main camera and now be the backup camera, even though it was never my main camera in the first place. Is it ever going to turn off? Okay, yeah. So we'll just I'll just give you a little look around the room. It's my wall with all my plans on it. And a comparison between what I used to look like Oh, it's actually detecting a face on that one. What I used to look like and what I look like now. And my messy workbench full of all my experiments. Because I must experiment. The switch mode power supply, which I'm going to be working on soon. And Franken PC. Oh my god, no, don't look at the state of that. Okay, so here we are downstairs. Just taking a little walk around to see. How good the picture looks. 
under various different lighting conditions. The work on the house has been delayed for another week or so, so we're not gonna... I will re-blog that when that happens, but as of yet, they've decided not to. Alright, let's just see how this performs in low light situations. So on that side. Not that person's fence is still blown over. No, he seems to have fixed that. But over there, we had a lot of wind, and that guy's fence blew down. Although he's fixed it now, so I cannot film it. Seems to be reasonably good in low light. At least much better than my other camera was. So I'm picking up the clouds up there. Perhaps if I stay out of the lit area, you can see down there. Okay, and because I didn't say anything in these clips, I'm going to do a voiceover here. So, this is the outdoors footage, and I'll just let the picture speak for itself. And because you didn't get to see that fence that got blown down, well, here is another one. The only disappointing thing here is that the picture's a bit washed out, unless I point the camera towards where there's more sky. And finally, a zoom test to see how far the optical zoom will go. You better take your motion sickness pills now because this is going to get a little bit shaky. After all, I don't have the most steadiest hands in the world. Just need to back it off a little bit because we're going into the digital zoom here. So, anyway, I think I'm going to be using this camera for a lot more videos. And until next time, goodbye.